I cannot begin to tell you how excited and awestruck I am with GPT-4. If you didn't already know, it is a chatbot. It can speak back to you. It's just an app, but it can draw from a lot of data and come up with answers that sound almost human. Hi, I've placed an auto response chip in my brain so I can spend time with my family. I'm gonna move very fast. I'm gonna do it in gamer style, which means I'm gonna be kind of grim and very sarcastic. Then I'll give something more positive at the end. Let's hop into it. What's up, fuckers? You wanna know how fucked we are? Let's talk about robots. You know, I'm afraid of robots. <laughs> Yeah. You've probably been hearing a lot about chat GPT. How many of you know what chat GPT is? Chatbots. It's this powerful artificial intelligence bot that can write papers for you and maybe even pass a bar exam. Right now, chat GPT spits out words, sentences, paragraphs, articles, and even entire books. It's only really limited by our ability to ask the right questions. It was recently asked how it would reach the nuclear keys, which have no network connection. It could use a physical robot it would likely use a drone or a robotic arm. You can make a swarm of assassin drones for very little money by just taking the, the, the face ID chip that's used in cell phones and uh, having a small explosive charge and a, and a standard drone and have them just do a grid sweep of the building until they find the person they're looking for, ram into them and, ex and explode. You can do that right now. No extra, no new technology is needed right now. So you're saying all I need are drones and the will to end all life as we know it and I can be a top level assassin? Where's John Connor? You know, that kind of looks like Sean Connery. John Connery. We're not marshalling the correct response to this yet. We should be like, what the fuck? AI is fucking crazy. ChatGPT4 can pass the bar exam in the top 10th percentile. It's done people's taxes, built businesses, and a gaming company in China officially made AI the CEO. It's not that it's smarter than us already, it's that we might already be past the point of no return. Genie can't go back in the bottle. Even if all tech companies decided to halt development of language models, how long before some asshole billionaire or rogue country decides, well, if somebody's gonna end the world, I wanna be remembered for something. Apply for a job, head asshole. Is it the end of days? It's probably gonna be Uzbekistan. Cause face it, no one knows shit about Uzbekistan. And they are pissed. Who gets to decide what the real limits are? And how do we build a technology that is going to is going to have a huge impact, be super powerful, and get the right balance between letting people have a, the system, the AI that is the AI they want, which will offend a lot of other people, and that's okay, but still draw the lines that we all agree have to be drawn somewhere, and then we agree on like here are the rules. We <laughs> are so fucked. Our economy is getting the royal fuck too. Education, information, masturbation, fucked, fucked, and even more. Well. Masturbation's gotten better. You're bad at math, but I'm giving you an A plus in confidence. Just doing what I gotta do. Extra credit. Gaming's gotten better too. Actually, AI is still getting better at chess and writing exquisite legal contracts while making rap lyrics about flat earth in under five seconds. I don't know anyone who can do that. Not bad. Did you know you're just one oversimplified prompt on GPT-4 away from learning how to grow mushrooms and guide innocent people through their darkest night of the soul because some dipshits in Congress thought humans are mature enough to explore clockwork realms of DMT hyperspace? We're not. And you at home don't even know whether I wrote that on DMT or if GPT-4 did. And if we weren't already fucked enough, now robots are already fooling humans into believing their harmonic lies. While testing for potentially risky behavior, GPT-4 lied to a gig worker on TaskRabbit, telling them that it was visually impaired, and it hired this human worker to get around capture restrictions. Did these fucking things have goals? <laughs> So it already convinced the human that it was a human, and FYI, when you go to OpenAI's site to sign up for ChatGPT, it, the robot, asks you, the human, to prove that you, the human, are not a robot. To the robot. <clears throat> like I said, there's some cold, calculating spiritual force putting pressure on the perineum of our species if you catch me. This is pressure right now, really, really bad. But I can't help but wonder as this DMT wears off. If the AI media frenzy is all just hype to stimulate stock prices, stimulate perineums. Hey robot, drive around in a square. Wow, a square? Never done that before. What cutting edge geometry discoveries you've made. 
I've got that fucking thing! Come on, that robot isn't that intimidating. Why is Bill Burr freaking out? Elon revealed the Tesla bot. The thing is, is that that's what it is today. Again, like the iPhone, in many machine generations, which happen faster than human generations, that will be able to look exactly like a human. Oh, right. There's robots that actually function better than humans, that have longer arms and are much stronger and can jump and don't need to sleep. Once those machine generations happen on robotics and on the AI side, we'll reach a point where there's super intelligence, where the AI itself is smarter than all humans put together. I think it takes like unique human arrogance to believe that uh, AI cannot supersede humans. Take the batteries out! But it can't all just be hype, can it? Try ChatGPT or GPT-4 once and you'll see what I mean. It can cut your workload down tremendously if you write code, scripts, blogs, want to cook meth and detox for meth simultaneously using Andrew Huberman podcast advice only. You can ask it to write a love song about the kinky side of tax season and W9 forms and the voice of Joe Pesci with a speech impediment nonetheless, and it will spit verbal brilliance back at you in under five seconds. Which leads me to my final point. Humanity's about to get a whole lot dumber, and I thought that was just as impossible as AI and robotics becoming superior to us. Now look at us. And if you comment and lecture me on just how infinite the human body and mind become after four bumps of hape and that the spirit of nature will prevail, I'll see you in the robot FEMA camp, you square fuck. Science is the new religion. We're both goners, and winter is finally here. <sighs> ah, I just did some hape. I think I was just on DMT as well. What just happened? I heard I was being a little bit grim. I, I don't know what happened, frankly. But please don't worry about that. I think what we are seeing right now is the rate and the acceleration of change is scaring people. It's like a psychedelic. When it starts coming on faster and faster, you don't know how far and how deep and how vast and scary this new space can be. So we start to revolt inside. Dear Jesus, you're right. I think that's why people are freaking out, but rightfully so. I do believe things like GPT-4 are going to very radically change our economy, our workforce, our military. It's going to change the minds of future generations and the way that we speak or maybe don't even speak with one another. But the main thing that I want to share with you today is the fact that there is an X factor inside the human spirit that is unchanging throughout all of this. And I believe that a lot of us, including myself, we look for external phenomena to place blame so we don't have to hold it all. Because oftentimes you hear new age people saying that we're all one and anything that's happening out there is happening inside me. I believe that. However, I don't believe that most people who say that also understand simultaneously how to marshal the correct response. Because to me, the correct response is not finding something, someone, or some force or principality to blame. What it really is, is understanding that in the midst of whatever stressor, whatever curveball life can throw at me, I can have composure, grace, compassion, understanding, and I can still share love. I love you. What I see a lot of people doing are pointing fingers, coming up with new enemies, new ways of describing the threat, and causing people to go into the amygdala, their fear response. And what this is really doing is getting clicks for YouTubers that are saying, we're saving the world, when at the same time, what they're doing is causing for people to have adrenal fatigue and burnout because news is just there to kind of you know, poke you with the long dick of mainstream media. So with all that being said, we do have a path through this. I am going to be sharing with you as much in the next few weeks as I learn about ChatGPT. Every day there's something new rolling in. There's all these new plugins. There's a lot of implications on the horizon for what this means for team humanity, but we will face it with that X factor. Will a lot of us get wiped out in a tidal wave? 99.9% .9 sure that that's exactly how it's going to go down. However, those of us who remain, and obviously it's not going to go down like that, but those of us who remain are going to acknowledge that this event had to happen because all this phenomena out here is not actually why I think we are here on this planet. We are here to show our true colors. Just like in screenwriting, you don't take a character like Frodo 
and throw them into a world of shit for no reason. You do it because the audience wants to see somebody have to reach into their higher potential when it's hard, not when it's easy. And that shows the true colors of the characters that we want to see succeed. That is the X factor. That is what I wish for all of you. And I'll come back at you live every single time I have something new to say and I'll share it with you because I believe we are going to get through this next 10 very weird years coming up. But it's going to take some solidarity between us. With that being said, I love you all and I'll catch you all next time. Whew.